God's Witnesses to Divine Healing Number 21 Clara Hoft Dr. Dawi opens this testimony with the following comments. Instruments of surgical torture, such as this witness holds in her hands, are very real evidences of the fact that healing through faith in Jesus Christ is a present-day reality. When we see children as well as men and women bound in affliction and iron loosed from these bonds by the power of God, we cannot but rejoice that they are captured from the hands of the enemy and give glory to God for his wonderful works to the children of men. Clara Hoft is one of the regular attendants at our meeting on Thursday, which is Children's Day in Zion Tabernacle, and she is ever ready to tell others what God has done for her. On these occasions, an opportunity is given to the children to tell of their healing as well as what improvement they have made from week to week. Her crutches and braces now ornament the walls there, and she points to them when she tells how her, quote, mother screwed up that screw a little tighter every time, end quote. We will now let her tell her own story. Clara Hoft, 784 Milwaukee Avenue, Chicago, said, I feel called upon to tell you how much I have been benefited by your teaching, Dr. Dowie, and what the Lord has done for me. When I was five years old, I had trouble with my right leg, which was caused by a fall. I was examined by Dr. Wagner. He treated me for three months. After that, we had Dr. Ulrich. He treated me for nine months with medicine. While he treated me, my one leg was three inches shorter than the other. So I was placed on a table and had my leg straightened. After that was done, my leg was one inch longer than my other leg, so that I had to get a high heel under my left shoe. My leg was not any better. Then I was examined by Dr. Crower. He treated me with electricity for six months. But after that, we noticed that my leg was getting shorter and growing stiff. Then the doctor came to our house and wanted to see if he could bend my leg. But Mama did not want it to be done. He was not very well pleased and said, Your daughter will never get well. She will stay a cripple all her life. And he walked around our room showing how I would walk. After that, I was examined by Dr. Mathai. He treated me about six months. In the last weeks, he noticed that I was not getting any better, so he ordered a pair of braces for both my legs. We did not get those braces, so he did not treat me anymore. After that, I could not walk for one year. Then we had Dr. Hoffman. He ordered those crutches, and I wore them for two years. After that, my leg was perfectly stiff. Then I was again examined by Dr. Zahn in Barrington, Illinois. He told us of Dr. Schlosser and said, if Dr. Schlosser could not heal me, no doctor ever would. So we went to Dr. Schlosser on State Street. He treated me for nine months with massage, which he called the Swedish movement. 
He did not do me any good. We then heard of Dr. Madsen on Randolph Street, and he treated me for four months. He ordered the brace, which I have given to Dr. Dowie. I wore that brace for a year and a half, but instead of getting better, I was getting worse. Then we heard of Dr. Dowie. Before we came to him, I could not walk more than a block. Then both my ankles would turn, and the toes on my foot would go to the back, and my heels in the front. On both hands, the fingers were drawn up. My leg was two and a half inches short, and the foot was one inch short. My right side was always cold and lifeless and much weaker. Now, since we have come to Dr. Dowie, I can walk as far as I please. My ankles never turn. The fingers of my right hand are perfectly straight, and those of my left hand are very nearly. My side is as warm as the left side. My leg is two inches longer, the foot one inch longer, and I can walk much better than I ever could before. I do not have to wear a brace or crutches. I never could feel that I had a kneecap. Now I feel that I have one and can move it nicely. And I give all the glory for it and thank Dr. Dowie. That concludes the reading of her testimony. Just wanted to point out a couple things here. Did you notice that each Thursday was Children's Day at Dr. Dowie's Zion Tabernacle in Chicago? And on that day, children would be brought that needed healing. So Clara was brought there as a child, and she's here giving her testimony then of what God has done for her through the ministry of Dr. Dowie. And I notice that it also says here that the children would give up, get up and give their testimony of the improvement that they'd had from week to week. So not all the children were healed instantly. They kept coming back and having Dr. Dowie minister to them, and then they would give testimony of how their healing had progressed. Also, a shocking thing to me was when she was mentioning how her feet would turn around backwards. I don't know if you caught that, but she said, Before we came to him, I could not walk more than a block. Then both my ankles would turn, and my toes would go to the back, and my heels to the front. I can't even imagine such a thing. I've heard a lot of testimonies, heard a lot of testimonies, but I've never heard anything like that before. I've heard about a lot of illnesses and infirmities, but I've never heard of that before. A person's foot actually turning around backwards. And if you'll notice here, she says <coughs> uh, that in, in one other testimony that I had of hers, she says that she has confidence here that even whatever incidences that she still may have left, that she knows that they're going to be cleared up too. She said, I do not wear a brace or crutches. I never could feel that I had a kneecap. Now I feel that I have one and can move it nicely. And I give God all the glory for it and thank Dr. Dowie and know the rest will come right too. So this is a little testimony was given in the Leaves of Healing magazine, two of them. One was earlier in May, I think, or in uh, 1895. I believe one was in uh, the end of March, and the other one that I read to you was May the 17th, 1895. So she had seen progress even from the time that her testimony was first reported 
in the leaves of healing and she mentioned that she believed that the rest would come right also wonderful confidence from a young girl in God's healing power I just want to encourage you today there is absolutely nothing too hard for the Lord is is anything impossible with God all things are possible with God without faith it is impossible to please him years ago I heard R. J. B. Shambach say you don't have any problems all you need is faith in God and oh that has impacted my life ever since so I just want to pray for you today as I close reading this little testimony father I just thank you if there's any children out there today that have a need in their body Lord that they know that you are there help them to realize that you are their healer too Lord just stretch forth your hand right now by your power and heal their bodies father comfort their souls father just save them if they need to call upon you as their Savior Lord I just thank you for today I come against any paralysis infections father tubercular conditions malarial conditions father whatever it might be in these little children that might hear this testimony Lord you said allow the little children to come unto me and forbid them not for of such is the kingdom you put your hands on many children and bless them and heal them and you're the same today and so father I thank you that healing is also the little children's bread in Jesus name Amen. Well, this is Ann Windsor. It's been a privilege to share this little testimony with you. And I have some helps for you for healing. If you'd like to visit my Bible School page, annwindsorbibleschool.org, and also the pages that are shown here that I have on Facebook. God bless you today.